Well, hi, this is uh, Chase Swift, and uh, this is a quick demonstration of using Skype, which uh, we use to share screens and communicate all over the world. Now, first, you'll when you, I have a lot of contacts, so don't uh, you may have far fewer. That's fine, but when you first uh, want to connect with somebody, you'll have to go to contacts and then over to the far side to click on contact. And then you'll type the username of the person you're trying to find. I'm just going to try. I've never done this. But if I try to find myself, let's see what happens here. <clears throat> that is really weird. That's coming up with a different username. But basically, if you get the username of the person you're trying to find, you'll just type it in and uh, you'll find that person. And then you can click. I won't connect with this person. It's really not me. But you can click on plus. And then you're going to add that person as a contact, and you click Send. Skype is a permission-based communication system, so you have to have permission to speak to someone. So I'll just go back to Contacts. I have a lot of them. One thing you can do is, once you have a contact, um, if you want to, you can keep them as a favorite. And the way you do that is go down. There's a lot of list of names down at the bottom. And let's say Mark Dale, I was going to speak to him. There's some conversation and birthday things that go on. And so you can have kind of a conversation going within here. But if I wanted to make Mark Dale a favorite, and I because I call him or communicate often, I would just right click. And then it's not showing, so i got to move things up so you can see. But I would right click on that and then choose Add to Favorites. So it's a right click on the person you want to save as a favorite and then add to favorites. I'll just move Mark and he goes straight up to this higher list and it's actually, he's got double asterisks so he's ranking higher, he's sorting higher, but it is by alphabetical. Now what I'm going to do is contact a good friend of mine, Roger Bicknell in the UK. So here he is. Now he is showing that he's invisible. You can actually be online but if you're not wanting to take other calls, you can click and then be invisible. So you're online, but no one else can see you online. So what I mean by that is these little green dots mean the person is probably near their computer. A yellow dot means they've been away for some time. Uh, a green circle with a clear in the middle means he's invisible. He may not even be on, but I know he is, so he's expecting this call. So find the person you're going to contact, and then just simply, you don't need to do a video call per se. This one does a video call, but I do a audio call. And what you do is you click the down arrow, and then you just don't call the mobile number because that will cost you money. Skype is free. To fr is free. So just choose Skype Roger Picknell, and it'll start calling him. And he should answer momentarily. And there he is. Hey, Roger, how are you? Hi, Chase, how are you? Just fine. <clears throat> so um, in this case, um, if I were to share my screen, and Roger can't see my screen, I can just see an image of him, and we're talking through audio only. But if I wanted to share my screen, I would click on this plus down at the bottom, <clears throat> and then go up to share screen. It's a two-step process, so once I click that, then I'm going to share my entire screen, uh, which is best, and then I can click Start. And Roger will be able to see my screen momentarily. There it is. Okay, so what Roger sees is what I see. So then what I would do is uh, go to my uh, browser, and I might, uh, you know, be on Google or any number of websites. Um, but he can see. And, and Roger, what uh, website do I have up? You have Google up. Yep, exactly. Uh, with pictures of traffic wave, Bitcoin. Yeah. And from my calls down yeah. in the bottom right-hand corner. Yeah, very good. So that is excellent. So he can... See where my mouse is, uh, guide me, and see everything about my screen, which is just fantastic. When I want to come back to stopping um, the call, um, and I, sh I didn't really do this the way I wanted to, but there's a floating window. Um, and this is the current call. 
And uh, if, if you need to, you can mute yourself, and then you can end the call right there. But I'm not going to do that because I want to have Roger share. Now, I didn't plan this quite ahead <clears throat> like I wanted, but up in the top of my screen, you're not seeing this, is a way to stop sharing. And there's some other Skype options, but towards the top it says stop sharing screen. I'll just click that, and then I'm going to return back to Skype because I'm in my Chrome browser. If I can return back, here I am in Skype, and it's just back to Roger. And Roger, I'll go ahead and have you share your screen so we can see what goes on. I'm, I'm clicking the plus add now. Yeah. Coming up to share screen on the, the sub menu, right. clicking that, and it gives me another screen to start the action, yeah. and there I am. Awesome. So what we see is what Roger sees, which is his Skype. And so, Roger, if you go to your browser, there it is. Well, I've, I've got uh, this up at the moment. I've just brought up Welcome to iMovie. Excellent. Excellent. So that is the basic process, and you can communicate. It could be very good to have head, headphones on or a headset, just so the sound is really clear and there's no echo. So... I'm actually using a headset at the moment. Awesome. All right. Um, and you're opening uh, up Skype again. And then to stop sharing, you would just do the yeah, same. I just brought back. Yeah. I just go to the plus sign and stop sharing. Exactly. Um, <clears throat> you can, <clears throat> pardon me, you can also add people, I should have said. Uh, and the way you add people is just click on the add, or the plus, And then if you add a person, so if another team member needs to be on, you can just add them, and you would just add their name. Um, I'll, I'll, uh, yeah, bring Derek in. He's yeah. available. Yeah. I'll uh, keep this short, but all I would have to do is click on Derek, and his name goes there, and then I would click Add. And Derek does, um, he did show initially that he was active online. I'm on FaceTime with him at the moment, so okay. he knows. Okay. Well, I just want to keep this shorter, but uh, well, we'll do it real quick. So we'll just click Add, and Derek will be shown. And Roger, are you sharing your screen? Uh, no, I'm not. Do you oh. want me to? Oh, no, I thought it was just circling what it, like it was. So at this point, I'm not sure that Derek, Derek's on. We'll just keep this shorter. And um, the way to end a call is to just hit the red button to hang up. And Roger, I'll just speak to you momentarily. So um, thanks for watching this video on using how, how to use Skype. If you have any questions, come to the Facebook group or get in touch with the person that brought you to this video. And they can share more information, but pretty much that's how to share your um, share on Skype. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.